Are you ready? Are you all feeling sleepy? Right, get yourself tucked up in bed if you're not already. Um, I'm going to read Elma. One of my favourite books. Was it you whack me in the face, Elma? One of my favourite books from when I was little. Elma the Elephant. Elma, yes, yes, yes. Assassin, hello. We're reading a bedtime story. And if I remember correctly, I, I kind of resonate with the story in uh, in Elma. Um, but we we will find out. Oh, it's a bit longer than I thought. Oh yeah, we might be here a while. Right, and I'll I'll show you the pictures. I'll show you the pictures. Right. There was once a herd of elephants. Elephants young, elephants old, elephants tall, or fat or thin. Fucking body shaming the elephants now, body out. Elephants like this, that or the other, all different but all happy and all the same colour. This racist. I've not read this in a long time. Ella, thank you for following. I think the elephants... I think they might be racist. Elma seems scary. No, El... El this is Elma, this one. El Elma's lovely. Yeah, elephants like this, that or the other, all different, but all happy and all the same colour. All, that is, except Elma. And there, here you have all the different kinds of elephants. What if the elephant eats you in your sleep? No, elephants, they don't, I don't think they eat meat, elephants. I think they just eat, like, grass and shit. It was, it was Elma. Elma is very colourful. Elma was different. Elma was patchwork. Elma was yellow and orange and red and pink and purple and blue and green and black and white. Elma was not elephant colour. Maybe it's not racist after all. Let, let, let's see, shall we? We'll see how this pans out. Maybe it's trying to tell a story against racism, which is what I, I'm on board with that. It was Elmer who kept the elephants happy. Yeah. Sometimes he joked with the other elephants. Sometimes they joked with him. But if there was even a little smile, it was usually Elmer who started it. Oh, he's nice. He's nice. There he is, cheering up all the other all the other elephants. One night, Alma couldn't sleep for thinking, and the think. And um, wait, what? And the think that he was thinking, is that a typo? The think that he was thinking, is that meant to be think, or think? Was that he was tired of being different. Who ever heard of a patchwork elephant, he thought. No wonder they laugh at me. You know what, Elmer? I fucking feel you. I have had that exact same thought in my time, Elmer. In the morning, before the others were really awake, Elmer slipped quietly away, unnoticed. Look, uh, he's so cool. And the others are, are sleeping. That's happened to me before, because, like, I've always been a bit... Well, I went, especially when I was younger, I would get bullied for being different. 
um, and particularly for being like a bit too colourful, um, like my clothes and shit. And I thought, yeah, uh, people used to laugh at me too. This is hitting a bit close to fucking home, this. As he walked through the jungle, Elmer met, met other animals. They always said, good morning, Elmer. Each time, Elmer smiled and said, good morning. There he is. There's Elmer. Wait, where's Elmer? There's Elmer. And there's all the other animals. Luke, thank you. Oh, I think I remember this. This book is wrong. Hold on, hold on. It might it might turn around. It might. After a long walk, Alma found what he was looking for. A large bush. Hey! <laughs> well. Elma. You have surprised me. I thought this was a children's book. A large bush covered with berries. A large bush covered with elephant-coloured berries. Elmer caught hold of the bush and shook it and shook it so that the berries fell on the ground. There he is with his... Hold on, I need to sneeze. <coughs> Sorry. Ruin the bloody story time. My oh, God. He's shaking, he, yeah, he's shaking the berries off a tree. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Once the ground was covered in berries, Elma lay down and rolled over and over, this way and that way and back again. Then he picked up bunches of berries and rubbed himself all over, covering himself with berry juice. Until there wasn't a sign of any yellow or orange or red or pink or purple or blue or green or black or white. When he had finished, Alma looked like any other elephant. Oh, hello. Thank you for following. Eight steel of inches. Hello. Thank you for following. There he is. He is... I think he's trying to paint himself grey like the other... The other elephants. After that, Elma set off back to the herd. On the way, he passed the other animals again. This time, each one said to him, Good morning, elephant. Oh, shit. They don't recognise him. And each time Elmer smiled and said, Good morning, pleased that he wasn't recognised. Look, there he is. He's grey now. And all the, uh, all the animals, they don't recognise him. I don't get this book. What is this lesson? I think the lesson is that it's good to be different. And not blend in. I, I, I think that's where it's going. When Elmer rejoined the other elephants, they were all standing quietly. None of them noticed Elmer as he worked his way to the middle of the herd. Where even is he? I don't bloody know. He looks just like all the other elephants. After a while, Elmer felt that something was wrong. But what? He looked around, same old jungle, same old bright sky, same old rain cloud that came over from time to time, and lastly, some same old elephants. Elmer looked at them. I think he's starting to regret his decision. The elephants were standing absolutely still. Elmer had never seen them so serious before. 
The more he looked at the serious, silent, still-standing elephants, the more he wanted to laugh. Finally, he could bear it no long longer. He lifted his trunk and at the top of his voice, he shouted. Oh, boo! Did I get you? Did I? The elephants jumped and fell always in surprise. Oh my gosh and golly, they said. And then saw Elmer, helpless with laughter. Elmer, they said. It must be Elmer. Then the other elephants laughed too, as they had never laughed before. Oh, so he fucking bamboozled them. He... Hey, hold on. As they laughed, the rain cloud burst. And when the rain fell on Elmer, his patchwork started to show again. Hold on, here he is. Look, he's having a whale of a time, he is. Bloody hell. And there's Alma. Oh, there's Alma. The elephants still laughed as Alma was rushed back to normal. Oh, Alma gasped an old elephant. You've played some good jokes, but this has been the biggest laugh of all. It didn't take you long to show your true colours. Ah, so clever, that. We must celebrate this day every year, said another. This will be Elmer's day. All elephants must decorate themselves and Elmer will decorate himself elephant colour. Oh shit, this is exactly what the elephants do. On one day a year they decorate themselves and parade. On that day, if you happen to see an elephant ordinary elephant colour, you'll know it must be Elmer. There's Elmer. And look, look at all these fucking cool dudes. All these elephants. Celebrating Elmer. Oh, that's it. That's the end. I think the moral of the story is that it's okay to stand out. It's okay to be different. And, yeah, when, when Elmer try to blend in with the other elephants he got sad because he wasn't being true to himself ah i think that's the moral of a story